Hello everyone, this is Pamela from Design Wishes by Pamela here to share with you my latest project. For this project, I used the paper collection from Paper Phenomenon called Flight 2715. I absolutely love this paper and I want to give a shout out and a thank you to Ginger Rop from My Sister Scrapper. She had shared a project she did with this paper collection um, and I will uh, put a link to her project in the description box. And I fell in love with the paper. Obviously, I fell in love with the mini album that uh, Ginger created. But I, I fell in love with the paper from Kathy King at Paper Phenomenon. So I really had to get my hands on it, and I did. And I came up with a flight bag uh, for and a mini album. It's a flight bag and mini album uh combination and it's functioning just like your real life carry-on bag or your luggage that has the swivel wheels it does swivel um, has the swivel wheel base the handle does go up and down just like on your carry-on bags or your luggage the pockets I was really looking for a kind of like a motorcycle bag a backpack kind of biker bag uh, look to it but also make it like a traveler um, a traveler's bag I, I I don't know where to start on this project because everything turned out exactly like I wanted um, for the stitching and the, the material that you're seeing here this is that craft text now if you have seen my videos you know I talk about craft text a lot it is virtually indestructible. You can wash it, you can paint it, distress it, dye it, ink it, um, sew it. And that is what I did. And I used my craft, um, little mini craft sewing machine because I kind of wanted to give a baseball kind of like stitching effect on it. So it is extremely dur durable. <clears throat> Excuse me. You will also see that I use the craft text on the buckles here in the back and in on the mini album. The handle for the flight bag is made out of two wood doll dowels that um, I just cut down and then I actually screwed the chipboard into the dowel because I wanted it to be sturdy and then I cut off the little feet from some brads to make the the little studs on the handle. The luggage tag is a cut file from Silhouette and it's designed 132551. I will put a link to that um, tag as well. All I did was double matted it with some of um, Kathy's gorgeous papers here um, to give it a little bit more uh, uh, a prim uh, look to it, a little bit more sturdy look to it. I added some chain from my jewelry making collection and some charms also from my jewelry making collection. The hardware for the buckle is from Tim Holtz, um, so really love those. And the wheels I just got off of Amazon. Um, the zipper is from my sewing supplies uh, and the solid color papers are either American Craft or Recollection. So I just put a little uh, one of the cutouts. The collection comes with cutouts. I did um, put a little cutout here. So let's let's look at the back of the of the flight bag. So really simple. The, because this, the craft text is really durable, I didn't really need to reinforce the the holes here. So it opens up and if you can see, and I know the lighting is not that, not good in my craft room, I'm gonna work on that, but it is gusseted so you can add so much memorabilia, photos, whatever you like in the back pocket. It, it's, um, I accordioned it and so it truly, really opens up for you can store so much in here. On the front of the bag, I did a mini version of the pocket, but um, let me just tell you that you can stick a four by six photo in here. This is one of the cut aparts in the paper collection and it looked like a passport or a traveler's uh, folio 
cover. So I just folded it in half and stuck it in the side like that. I thought that was really cool. Here is that gorgeous paper. Oh, Kathy, you did an amazing job with this paper collection. I really, really love it. Um, and Dee Dee. Dee Dee Carton also, um, you guys did a great job with this paper collection. I actually have to get some more because I almost used all of it. So again, this is a mini uh, gusseted uh, pocket here. And what I wanted to show you, you could do a four by six photo in here, no problem. I just took some of the cut aparts and cut them down for either journaling cards or photo mats. But that can go into the pocket or it could go into the back here. So lots of storage just on that outside um, part of the bag. I added a charm. Can't have enough bling, right, in any project on it. And again, that handle does come up and down just like a real bag. And love it, love it, love it. So let's go ahead and open up the, the suitcase, the flight bag. So again, it just zips open like this. And in it, there's lots of room inside here. I have a one and a half inch spine on that binder, on that album. And you can see you could fit more stuff in there. And I am not really sure if you can see that, but you can see that the handle moves up and down very easily, even with the album inside the bag. So the album comes out like that. Let me get this out of the way here. Let me just go ahead and get this out of the way. And this is what the album looks like. The album is... I should have had my ruler out. The album is... Oh, wow. It's about six and a half um, by eight and a one and a half inch spine. So I just cut some of the paper around. I really love what this said. Again, here, this is some hardware from Tim Holtz. I did distress it because I wanted it to be black. So I just applied some gesso and then some black acrylic paint on that. I took some of the cut aparts and I put them on the back because I it was a little, uh, it needed it a little something. And then I took some mini brads and uh, did that effect on the back. So when you open the album up, it's like a gatefold. It opens up like this. And on this side, and I hope you guys can see this, on this side of the album, the inside cover, I just made a little mini mat. You guys know my punch pocket I've been doing on all my projects. Took some of the cut aparts and cut those. So you could actually put something here so I left it open. On this first page here, what I did was the paper looked like this. It was 12 by, 12 by 12, I cut it down. I cut around, and I'll hold it up. I cut around this camera and this little, um, it looks like a check, yes. This camera and check to make a pocket. And then you can just put your photo or whatever in here. Each of the pages has a tag in it, and this is some of the cut aparts. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous paper. The pages fold down. There's a magnet, and the pages fold down so that each page has a full spread of the paper, and then a four and a quarter by six and a quarter inch white piece of cardstock and then photo corners each page looks like that and then for this page what i did was this is beautiful paper i took my um paper knife cutter my one inch um blade and i cut carefully around this image here so that it can be a little holder for photos or um, whatever whatever you like but it's open up there so you can put something um, in there on this page which is the back cover um, page 
Again, I replicated what I did on the front here on the back cover. I also took my um, cutter and I cut right in this section right here of this design. It, it just came to me, it was perfect. And then it becomes a pocket as well. And here's one of those really lovely um, cut aparts from the paper collection. Again, here's just one of the tags. All the tags look the same. And then this page folds down. There's a magnet. And then you can see that, let me get this right. You can see that uh, the paper matches, the photo corners match, match the papers. For this page, I took and did a pocket at the bottom, I popped up some of the cut aparts. I took some of the cut aparts here as well. Beautiful, and that just sits right in there. And then, oh gosh, the paper is so beautiful. Here is that next page, and you can see how I matched the uh, photo corners to the paper. On this page, I did my classic punch pocket here. The pocket actually goes all the way down. Um, so there, you could put a six by, uh, four by six photo in there. These are some of the cut aparts from the collection. Loving, loving Kathy. Beautiful, beautiful and Dee, Dee Beautiful paper collection. I took one of the cut aparts here. I left one side open and I put a tag there. And then on the outside pocket of this one, I wanted to replicate this as a full spread, so I'm gonna take these out so you could see. Here is a belly band, this is a belly band. So I wanted to kind of make the center of the album kind of like a full page spread. So I replicated the width of the belly band on the other side of the page, except on this side, it's a pocket. And I just made a tag and did one of the cut aparts. And on this side is the belly band. So you can use that for photos or I made this into a little journaling book. And then I kept this completely open because it was a perfect centerpiece for the back of the inside of the album. And then again, you can see that the mat matches, matches the photo corners on this page right here, I made a little mini pocket. This is the cut apart from the paper collection. It could be a journaling card or uh, you could stick one of those little tiny um, instant camera photos on it and then popped up a journaling tag from the, from the cut aparts and the collection. And then the opposite page Again, it folds down, it folds out with the magnet, gorgeous paper here, and the matching photo squares for for that as well. And so then it all kind of like folds up into itself. Just love, love this collection. And there you have it, the travel album that fits into the little mini flight bag. And I really super, super, super love the way this project turned out. It is absolutely <laughs> the cutest thing. And I hope you like it too. Thanks again to Ginger from My Sister Scrapper for, for her beautiful project she made with the Flight 2715. Thank you so much, Kathy and Dee Dee, for a beautiful paper collection from Paper Phenomena. And thank you so much for watching.